Hey everyone, I'm Justin. Welcome to my channel, Justin Hits the Trail. Uh, we just hiked in about 10 miles from the Barnhart Trailhead here in Arizona, just outside of Rye, up to the Matazal Divide slash Arizona Trail. And we are now at the gorgeous Horse Camp Steep, camping here for the night. But today's video is a little bit different. We're not talking about gear. We're not doing a hiking video. Today, we are talking about the backcountry bidet. If you're uncomfortable talking about stuff like poop and buttholes, this is probably not the video for you. If not, stick around and we're going to talk about spraying your asshole with water. So, the backcountry bidet. I have the Kulo Clean, but this could be applied to you know any sort of backcountry bidet or spray bottle, whatever you're going to use. So I have the Kulo Clean, and this is all it is. It's just this little piece that goes on top of a water bottle with a little hole in the front. And that's what the water comes out of. You just connect it to the top of a water bottle. Regardless of which bidet you're using, I highly recommend a solid sided water bottle like this 700 mil smart water bottle or maybe like a cleaned out coke bottle. Just not a flimsy plastic water bottle. Don't use one of those. It's not going to work out. Trust me. So why would you want to use a backcountry bidet? You've been using toilet paper just fine in the outdoors for years. Well, a lot of it is kind of related to leave no trace, right? Like by using this, you can bring less toilet paper, if any at all, which dramatically reduces your impact in the outdoors. Aside from reducing your impact, it just keeps you cleaner than toilet paper will. You get a nice wash down when you use this, which aside from feeling cleaner, will also reduce chafing. It doesn't weigh much, so why not? So how do you use the backcountry bidet? That's probably why you're watching this video. So get ready for some descriptive details. So first thing, grab your water. Grab it from whatever lake, creek, river, whatever your water source is. Fill up your hard-sided water bottle. Obviously, take your bidet, squeeze it on top. Again, this one is the Kulo Clean. It's like $10 on Amazon. Definitely recommend it. So I prefer to just completely drop the bottoms. Drop your shorts, drop your pants, drop your underwear, drop your britches, whatever you want to call them, whatever you're wearing. I like to de-pants, maybe put around one leg, but that's just me. Like I think if you get into a squat like this, it's a good position, right? Like I have a friend that always uses one of these backcountry bidets and somehow he says he can manage to be in this awkward, just squat like this. If your pants are here, like, yeah, that's fine. But when you're using this, there's gonna be some water splashing around down here. So I could not make that work. I think it's easier if you just drop your pants, put them around one leg, get a wider squat going. That way you can use it and take care of business without getting your pants and shorts and underwear wet. So my preference is to just completely de pants, put around one leg, get in that wide squat. But of course, the first step is dig your cat hole. So take your trowel, of course, basic leave no trace principles, dig a six inch cat hole, enough for you to take care of business and cover it up without anything being visible. So after you've dug your cat hole, you can de pants, get in your squatting position, take care of business, and then it's time to clean up. All right, now it's time for the uncomfortable stuff. So you've taken care of business, let's clean up. This is not your first step. First, I highly recommend trying to grab a broad leaf, some sort of leaf, if you need to use a rock or a smooth stick, something to do some heavy lifting to give yourself an initial wipe or two. If you need to use a single square of TP, if you're in somewhere that you don't have to pack out your toilet paper in, or even if you are, 
okay, understandable. But if you can, try to use a leaf, something natural. Wipe yourself once or twice with that just to get all the big stuff off. And that goes in your cat hole. And then it is time to use the backcountry bidet. So, going to be a little descriptive. It might not appeal to a lot of people, but you have to dedicate a dirty hand or at least a dirty finger. Because if you just squirt your poopy butthole, what's that going to do aside from give you a wet, poopy butthole? Right? So you have to squirt and you have to give it a little rub with your hand or your finger, get everything off. And once it's clean, you're good to go. And you will know when it's clean. One of these 700 milliliter smart water bottles, I usually use about maybe half of it. Like you don't need a ton of water, half a liter most, and you're gonna be plenty clean. So after you've taken care of business, you've given yourself an initial wipe, you've used the backcountry bidet and had a little hand action there, you're clean. So drying off, dry off how you would like to. My personal preference is using a bandana because it doesn't weigh much. It's, you know, lightweight, dries quickly. If you want to bring a pack towel, use that. Spot dry, that's fine. Some people are just like, screw it. I'm just going to pull my pants up. They're going to dry off while they hike. That's fine. That's up to you. My personal approach is a bandana and just pat dry. So one thing you can't forget if you're going to use the backcountry bidet is some hand sanitizer. You're going to have a dirty hand. You want to make sure it's clean. I'm not going to just trust rinsing off that hand considering what I was doing with it. Just make sure you clean your dirty hand. So the one thing about the backcountry bidet is it kind of adds to your toiletry collection, I guess I'll say, when you're in the backcountry. So you have to bring your trowel. You still have to dig your cat hole. You have your extra water bottle if you want. I mean, you could use your drinking water bottle. I don't personally like having a dedicated water bottle for this. You have your backcountry bidet. If you want something to dry yourself off with, bring a towel or a bandana and then your hand sanitizer. So yes, it does weigh a couple more ounces than just bringing like some TP and a trowel and maybe some hand sanitizer. But considering how much it reduces your impact in the outdoors and you don't have to worry about bearing toilet paper, you're gonna be cleaner, not gonna be worrying about chafing so much back there. I think it is well worth it. So that is the backcountry bidet. That is how you use it. Again, this one is the Kulo Clean, but this can be applied to any of the backcountry bidets or spray bottles, what have you. They all work the same. So quick recap. To use this, dig your cat hole, take care of business, spray, wipe, clean your hand, dry off, make sure you cover it, bury it, leave no trace, and just be a good backpacker. So that is essentially the backcountry bidet. I can understand if you're a little hesitant to use it. Not a lot of people are going to be comfortable not using toilet paper. They don't want to use a hand, but I promise you, once you get used to it, it is just fine. You're going to be cleaner, reducing your impact. I don't see much of a con to it. I am not going back to just strictly using toilet paper at this point. This is coming with me on every backpacking trip, unless I'm going somewhere that doesn't have a water source, I guess. But usually for most backpackers, that is not the case. So this is a great option. So that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe got a laugh, maybe got uncomfortable. But until the next time, I will see you out on the trail. Cheers.